Hey guys, it's Shannon. Wow, it's really echoey in here. Okay, Paul's behind the camera and we are starting another vlog or day in our life video for you, if you will. So we just thought we would show you a few things going on today. One thing, I wanna show you our tree. Paul put it up about a week ago, I think. Yeah. Um, it's naked and it doesn't have a tree skirt. And the reason for that is because we showed you the closet in our guest room filled with clothes. Uh, my Christmas decorations are behind that. So the tree is going to be naked this year, no ornaments, <laughs> which is kind of sad because I have really cute little Yeti ornaments, but not this year. So we have the tree. We do have some Christmas pillows on our couch right here. Paul can show you that. So we have a, a few little Christmas decorations. The rest of our decorations are actually hidden <laughs> in the garage and that closet. So they're not coming out this year. This is the perfect amount of Christmas decorations for Paul. No, we need a few more because our Christmas chicken, oh, we could put a little like Santa hat on, hey, hey. We could. Should I make it make the noise since Jack's not here? Jack's terrified of it, so that's why it's up sure. here. I forgot how do you, oh. Oh, it's battery might be running out. it's still going Shh. he's gonna still go anyway i thought it stops yeah okay Hang on, it's too bright there i think it's stopped now okay so anyway that's our christmas chicken not really one of our kids put it up there and we thought it was funny so it's been there for months but that's the Christmas decorations we have out. We're gonna just um, take you along through the rest of our day through a few things and just kind of show you some different stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So right now we are in our basement and we are in front of a big pile of boxes here that say Harvey's because it's all Harvey stuff. So if you guys saw one of our recent What Sold videos, actually that What Sold video might come up after this vlog. It's going to. Ooh. So we're going back in time or forward in time. I don't know what we're doing. Anyway, we had talked about, I'm going to come this way just to show you guys a little bit better. Yep. Um, in a What's Old video, we showed this big pile of Harvey's boxes that we haven't opened. We don't know what's in them, but we should probably get the stuff listed because probably with it being Christmas, Stuff is starting to sell. Yeah. So I think Paul wanted to show. Yeah. So this is. There's Paul's purse. This is my purse. Yes. My, so I'm a Boba Fett lover. Um, and this is, I think this is the convertible. Yes. Crossbody. It can poke. be a backpack or a crossbody. Yes. Look at this. So, so it's like a messenger bag. Um, Obviously he's never used it, but look. Yeah. The charms. Those are really cool. Yeah. So I have, I have what is I think a laptop carry case for myself. I've done a video on it a long time ago. Um, I use it as a messenger bag. This would be more of a messenger bag, even though it's a crossbody. That's more of a purse. It, it is. So <laughs> I bought this because I think Boba Fett's just so cool. I haven't used it. I don't know if I ever will. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's mine. This is the risk of having a flat surface in our house. When you have Paul. Yeah. Paul likes flat surfaces. Yep, extra stuff okay. gets piled on top. Yes, because there are G.I. Joes yeah. up here. We have Minecraft. We have a Disney doll. We have a bag from the Sunglass Hut. We have cat cookies because those are necessary. Anyway, we're going to drag all this stuff upstairs and be opening it for a storage Sunday video, but we just kind of wanted to show the stack here. I thought I'd show a quick little update here. Uh, you guys know that we have been doing decluttering videos recently and Paul decluttered a whole bunch of stuff out of his closet. So that's actually going to be featured in a video, but that's a pretty large box right there. It's overflowing. And I think he has another one in his closet still too. So he did really good. He got rid of a lot. All right. I brought the man, the myth, the yep. legend himself. Uh, welcome. Oh yeah. The Germany welcome. Welcome Germany. Because Paul cleaned, I'll let you tell a story. You tell the yeah. story. So I, I cleaned out my closet a little bit last night. Just, just a little bit. That was only from a little bit. I just said you did a lot. Oh yeah. It looks like a lot, but no, it was just a little bit. Oh man. 
So um, I ended up decluttering a lot of clothes, which you'll see in just a second. But yeah, I found, I found like three brand new Disney t-shirts with tags still on them that I've never worn. Um, this is one of my favorites. I, I, I like the Germany Pavilion. I really like that Mickey and, and Goofy have pretzels and sausages. One of his favorites. Yeah. that we bought at least over one year ago and that yeah. when he came out this morning wearing it i said oh my gosh i don't even remember that and he said me either yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's one yeah. of his favorites okay so i have a box full of clothing here. i already showed it oh you showed it okay yeah well here i'm just gonna pick up a couple things so i have a couple shirt a bunch of t-shirts here that are just donate um like these i find it very difficult to get rid of t-shirts i'm just gonna say it because i wear t-shirts pretty much all the time. But those ones have met their expiration date. Yeah, they have. Cause like, you know, I, I get them stained cause you know. You cook a lot. I cook a lot, you know, things like that. But then I always think like what I could wear it like another time. Like what if I need a t-shirt just for like an activity that it can get stained. And then I end up with t-shirts that are not very nice compared to other t-shirts I own. And I have t-shirts that are brand new with tags and just sit in my closet but like. Those are some of my favorite colors. I love that color on you. Which this one? That one, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I have t-shirts here that have designs or colors or just too stained. I'm not going to wear them anymore. Then I have t-shirts that were given to me, like this one, um, that, this just isn't my style. This is another brand new tag one. So, yeah, um, yeah, anyway, uh, it was just a souvenir from somebody's trip. They decided to bring that to me. <laughs> Not my, not my particular style, so, um, but I know that somebody is going to want this, which is totally cool. Um, so we have to go through that particular box and sort out. I have a bunch of gently used clothes, as well as clothes that have never been worn, that we need to eventually. <laughs> Figure out if we're going to donate or try to sell. Exactly. So, cool. Anyway, that's my decluttering. Oh, no. Another segment of Paul. Bath and Body Works. Wait, 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 wait. 2023 annual candle day. You guys have to let us know. Do they do candle day bags every time? You know, I have, I have an issue. They would only give me one of those bags. Yeah. Even though I bought 21 candles. Um, they were very, he said, very, very like, no, you can only have yeah, one they... bag. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe. It's probably something they do. I'm probably just wrong. I've just never had a store tell me, no, you can't have two bags. Um, I got a paper bag, obviously, but. Which that's kind of hard. Paul had to schlep this all the way through the mall. I did. Filled with candles. I mean, I, oh my gosh, I can't even lift that. Yeah. That's heavy. I can't believe the bag didn't break. Yeah. So. so anyway, I participated in 2023 Candle Day in person at Bath & Body Works. I survived. Um, Was it fun? Yes, it was fun. It was also stressful. There was a lot of people. Bath and Body Works does not is not known for like really wide aisles or anything. <laughs> no. So there was a lot of like bumping and jostling. Um, you know, kind of keeping track of my candle bag. You know, walking around the store with, I'm just gonna say, 12 candles that you're toting around while you're trying to look at more is gets to be difficult very quickly. You needed um, a helper. I did. I did. So I ended up going to buy myself because Shannon was home doing videos and stuff. Um, I felt like I wanted to go in person and not just buy online. Um, it was an adventure. <laughs> I feel like I got some good candles. I got them for what I feel like was a good deal. Um, I'm interested to see what Shannon thinks of some of them because I sniffed all the ones in there. I probably bought a couple just because I got suckered in by the packaging. I will show you one. This is like a little sneak peek. So this is a candle that we bought Ooh. before. And Shannon texted me and was like, get... Oh, Get more spiced apple toddy. Oh, so, that's a pretty jar it's in. It's a beautiful jar, a beautiful candle. I love the lid. I love everything about this. And this does smell really good burning. Well, the day he went to candle day, our son lit the spiced apple toddy yeah. candle we have downstairs and it was amazing. So Shannon texted me and said, get more spiced apple toddy. Yep. I looked around, I didn't see it because we, it, we have it just in a plain like red jar. Yeah, which is pretty. Which is very pretty. Um, I didn't see it, so I went and I asked an employee. I was like, hey, do you have any spiced apple toddy? They're like, yes, I've seen it. They went, they tried to find it, couldn't find it. They went and asked another employee. The other employee was like, no, we sold out. It's all gone. Well, then in my mind, I'm like, well, now I need it. It's no longer, it's no longer I want it. Now I need it because it's sold out. You know, now, now it's a quest to find it. So I texted Shambach, I'm like, they're all sold out. Order online. Which I didn't which do. Which she didn't do because she was busy doing other stuff. So while I was in line, the line was like snaking around the store. 
it went past one little end cap where there were just a few assorted candles that had like this special design and spiced apple toddy was there. I bought three of them. Nice. <laughs> I didn't need three of them. Probably didn't even need an extra one. But you didn't clear them out either. I you did left not. spice apple toddies for I someone did. I else. I left like eight or nine there. Wow. Which I'm going to tell you, for me, it was, a, it was mm -hmm. difficult to leave any. I know. Just because it was like, well, it sold. Shannon said she liked it and other people confirmed her opinion because it had sold out. So now all of a sudden it was desirable and I'm like, oh, I need to get them all. <laughs> well, good job. You we limited yourself. Feist apple toddies till... Oh. 2030. Yeah. Anyway, so um, so Candle Day 2023 was a success. As you can see, I did get candles. Oh. I ended up buying 21 candles overall, three of which are Spiced Apple Toddy. We'll show you all these in candle hauls. Um, but yeah, Spiced Apple Toddy. There's Paul again. So we're now in our guest room, which is also our eBay photo taking room. So we are actually going to take some pictures of clothes today, you guys. Woo! Does that mean they'll get listed? But Hope Springs Eternal. <laughs> We decided we were going to do 10 because 10 is doable. It's better than nothing. These actually right here, we just filmed a Goodwill haul on. So they're actually yeah. going to get photoed. I will feel so accomplished if these get photoed. These get listed. Well, I didn't say they were going to get listed. They were just going to get photographed. Yeah. Paul helps me with photos. What yeah. we do is we just hang stuff here. You can see this is that really pretty blue dress that was featured in a haul. Um, we just hang the things there. I snap pictures and gotta get that ready. <laughs> I snap photos and then we lay the items. I'm going to put Paul to work buttoning that. Okay. <laughs> um, we lay things down on the bed and I can just show you, we just have a white, like fuzzy blanket that we use just for photos and we use a tape measure to kind of show measurements. So that's what we're going to work on right now and um, maybe list the stuff. I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. I'm going to just show you, Paul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's Paul in his dress. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. If you want to see anything specific, let us know down in the comments and we'll see if we can get that done for you guys. All right. Bye, guys.